Not killers. Not killers. Polaroid. Polaroid. Snapper. Snapper. Biro. Pencil. Ruler. Biro. Pencil. Ruler. Uh, kiss on the cheek. You'll be lucky. <laughs> Nippy out. Got your flask. Got my flask. Back in six. As per. Service announcement. The 1110 Brighton service is running Mrs. Dawson. Mr. Jackson. What is it today? Memories of your recent African safari? Might be. A flora from the Royal Botanical Gardens. Who knows, eh? You do, Mrs. Dawson. Same as always. Trains. Actually, it's a few shots we've rustled up for readers' wives. Do you know, I could pass for 45 in a dimly lit room if you slap enough cocoa butter on my backside. <laughs> You're joking. Yes. Had you going, though, didn't I? <laughs> More ways than one, Mrs Dawson. And now the six o'clock news from the BBC. This is Radio 4. News from Malaysia reports that the country's firefighters are besieged with hoax emergency calls from lonely women. Only 3% of calls are thought to be genuine. Last year, libidinous pranksters pursued the police, only one call in 200 to make someone in distress. But this year, the frisky women of the Far East have shifted their attention to the men with the long hair. The problem is worse than the coastal town of Kuala to Ghanu. How are you there, love? Won the lottery. Brilliant. What's that? Second time this week? Third. Second jackpot. Brilliant. Thought I'd buy a yacht and cruise the Mediterranean in search of Johnny Depp. Bit out of focus. Is he? He looked fine in Pirates of the Caribbean. I thought you said the Mediterranean. Yes, that's right, love. I'm going to do the whole Mediterranean on Tom Cruise. How do you fancy turkey for Christmas? We always have turkey for Christmas. I quite like a bit of turkey. As long as it's uh, not too dry. I quite fancy a goose for a change. Ask me again on your birthday and I'll see how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> We've been together now for 40 years. 
And it don't seem a day too much Oh, there ain't a lady living in the land As I'd swap for me dear old Dutch No, that no fine. Go on. It's taking you ten minutes to open that. You must be bloody starving. at 6 p.m. What the poets have known for years, Harvard doctors have now confirmed. Lack of love can lead to a broken heart. U.S. heart experts have found that socially isolated men are more likely to have a molecule, which is a sign of inflammation in the most vital of organs. More than 3,000 men were studied for three years, and those with the molecule... How was your day, look? Premium bond came up today. Brilliant. Jim, we never go anywhere, do we? This sounds serious. Are you asking or telling? We never go anywhere. I see. Telling. So what's brought this on? You have, James Dawson. You and your ruddy trains. It's a bit late to complain about that now, love. I know. But it used to be me first, train second. And since you've retired, I've been playing second fiddle. Now, that's not true. You're right. I'm not second fiddle. I'm the bloody triangle. Ping! There's your tea. That's me. Well, we went to Paris on the Eurostar last year. Yes, and that would have been fine if we'd got off at the other end. <sighs> Didn't you see those brochures I left downstairs? What brochures? Ask a stupid question. Ping, there's your tea. My life in a nutshell. All right. I'll see what I can do. Yes, and I know what that means. A six-month wait for a day out in Brighton, if I'm lucky. There isn't even any sand. Ping, have a pebble. Bloody Brighton. I said I'll see what I can do. And a bunch of flowers might not go amiss either. Boring old bugger. And I love you too. Have you got turkey for Christmas?
no. No, 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 God, no! This was our wedding day. She's lovely. Elizabeth, she was my wife. Thank you. Thank you. 